he morphed through that Joker transition to turning it into his, and it was just a, a temporary pass through that you know he could that where he could find his light of passage to feel comfortable in his own skin. But yeah, he's there, bro. He's he's solid as they get. What do you remember about those days when the magazines were banned? It was just a situation of Vince had this very carnivorous, uh, I wouldn't say word I'm looking for. Uh, it, was, it was just a pretty aggressive look at what he wanted his copy to be. And, you know, if there were any crumbs left or any, uh, you know, drippings on the table, he thought that uh, he should clean them up and everybody else should survive off of off the breadcrumbs that would fall off the side of the table. So I think he was trying to basically get something that would be a total control situation. And I think he miscalculated um, how much the wrestling magazines helped and helped support his business and the business as a whole. So he had a period there where he was uh, trying to be very uh, aggressive and be the only game in town, but I think a few years later he realized how much support the well, magazines gave his company. Yeah, yeah, I think he did too, and I, I never had any issues with him. It was always a business decision. He always treated me very well. Check out Brain Buster, the daily quiz that tests your WWE knowledge with winning streaks, stats, and more. It's time to see if you're up for the challenge. L.A. Knight has become like such a hot commodity to the fans. Your opinion on L.A. Knight? Yeah, I'm just getting on his role. I, I see uh, there's no holes in his boat. He's got things pretty well covered. Um, it just get, it's just uh, getting him programmed with the right guy and get him over to that next level. He's he's ready to be launched right now. They need to launch him big time. They just need to find the right opponent for him. Yeah, you notice how the fans take to him? Well, I mean, it's, yeah, I, I noticed, but, you know, uh, uh, the, the Paul brother, the, the new guy that came in. James oh, yeah, Lo brother. Logan Paul, right. Yeah, I, I think uh, he's beyond talented. This guy's truly. Oh, yeah, he, he's amazing. He's like showing up guys that have been doing this forever. Yeah, I've never seen anybody pick it up so quick. I told his brother, Jay, really figure it out. Psychology-wise, I really haven't followed him enough to see psychology-wise if he's there. But, um, my God, what a, what a talent this guy is. And with him at L.A. Knight, if they put their heads together, this could be a lot of fun to watch. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, uh, oh, who's the other? Uh, oh, of course, Seth frickin' Rollins has got the whole package of wrestling and entertainment together. Your view on Seth Rollins? Uh, he's up with the best. I mean, he's really... He's really come into his own, you know. He he morphed through that Joker transition to turning it into his, and it was just a, a temporary pass through that you know he could that where he could find his light of passage to feel comfortable in his own skin. But yeah, he's there, bro. He's he's solid as they get. He's an attraction. Uh, all these guys just need to stay healthy, you know, and they're doing the crazy stuff that we didn't do back in the day. So. Every time they go for a crazy move, I cringe. You know, 